Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. Today we will present you a basic tutorial in which we will show you how to obtain a results animation in ANSYS. For this tutorial we will use an, an already existing model that has been also previously simulated. Since the objective of the <coughs> tutorial is to show you how to animate the results, not how to create a model and so on. So we're going to have a volume model T junction that we used in our previous tutorials. I'm going to plot the areas. And this, this junction has been embedded and at the end of the transversal beam and it's, it has two forces applied at the free end of the beam. So as I said, this, the model has been simulated. So for the first step, in order to perform them, the animation, we're going to go to general post-processing. We're going to read the results. You can do it by pick. We only have one result because we have one set at one second. So we're going to read it. We're going to hit after it reads close. So to animate the results, you have various options. We're going to go plot controls, animate. Here the mode shape and traveling wave are for different purposes. So we can use the form shape. This is the number of frames. The time delay in seconds is how fast the frames will change. So we'll put zero two. And we can have the form shape only, the form plus undeformed, which is good. But now when you have a lot of elements and we're going to use the form plus undeformed edge. Hit OK. The animating takes its time, so be careful with the number of frames. And there you go. We have the deformation and the undeformed shape of the, the model. You can use on this animation control, change the delay. The 0 0.2 was the 20 here. It allows you to make it slower, the transition, or faster. Just leave it on around 20. You can have select forward and backwards, forward only. You can go to stop move the frames to a specific point and start again and one of the one of the things that you have to take into consideration is that when you have the video ANSYS will not allow you to look at that besides in that specific position that you had it so you must be careful with that so we're gonna go close I'm gonna put this model here and I'm gonna go to plot controls animate now we're gonna animate some deformed results here is the same stuff where you have also the contour plots of the results we're gonna go summation of displacements and hit ok this is a little bit more interesting because also it shows you the variation in the magnitude of the values be careful that the contours and stuff they're gonna be the ones that are selected by default on the plotting of that particular variable. Again, plot controls, animate, oh, different results, stress. I've got a one miss as a stress, okay. You'll see here, well, the values are concentrated around the junction, and they make sense. You can change the contour plots for more visualization, but that's not gonna, we're not gonna show you how to do that right now. We're just gonna zoom in on the junction and we're going to do the same again the different result okay so as you can see you can obtain all of these results well there's another couple of option, other options that I'll show you here in plot controls you can do the overtime and time harmonic overtime is when you have transitional simulations time harmonic is when you have harmonic simulations over results is a similar situation and here we have three more options q slides q slides vectors and isosurfaces the q slides contours it allows you to create some slices based on a plane that you will define i'm going to put what misses and to define the plane you need to pick up the you need to pick up nodes are going to be used for defining coordinate system from which ANSYS will create a, a working plane and perform cuts 
and from those cuts it will show you the values that you obtain so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna go as you can see here more obvious on this value we have created a cut and as it is showing you all the values of whatever stuff you ask in this case was uh, vomitus the stress for that particular cut on that particular direction based on the orientation of the working plane got to do the same with you can as here you can have any any uh, any result output i'm going to do plot controls animate slice vectors you can modify so the works it of of the of the, of the work plane but we're not gonna do that now I'm just gonna go on translation hit OK and define the working plane again I'm gonna define the working plane with these three nodes and again well in this situation you will see that because I defined the working plane not quite parallel we have an oblique working plane but you just have to understand the idea our working plane was deviated because I wasn't able to obtain the proper key points so but you just need to get the idea that you can actually see the vectors on these sections these options are not too common use, commonly used but they are good when you are you have complex models also you have to take into consideration that you'll be analyzing the situation that's taking place at the moment of time that you have selected in our case is one because we only simulated the one and say one sub step and I'm gonna show you a new one which is the ISO surfaces I'm gonna have 10 and zero oh, oops sorry that was a little mistake I'm gonna go again animate ISO surfaces I'm gonna have 10 0 point sorry again a little mistake with my keyboard ISO surfaces 0 point 0.2 and we're gonna put the stress of vomitus vomitus stress so what we have here is as this is showing us at the time one which are the isosurfaces meaning the regions of the surfaces with the same values so here we have for a specific value we have it here and there the zero we go to the next then this value this stress value it's there and it gets concentrated to there and it gets concentrated more the more and more higher values get concentrated around those areas you can actually look at the values that you're interested in by looking at the the actual model and uh, I'm gonna show you again because with that might be more clear if we do that the X translation of the beam we had it before it's a little bit too fast so I'm gonna put the delay higher so you can see shows you different areas that correspond to the same displacement on X this can be very useful for analyzing complex models also or understanding situations As you can see you have these yellow colors here and the yellow color is also in the middle fiber so it can be very interesting so now I'm gonna recap you need a model that has been simulated then you have to go to general post-processing read the results that you're interested in go to plot controls and select that type of animation that you want and pretty much that's it you can also go here and save the animation replay the animation or restore it and that's how you will animate results in ANSYS I'm gonna go and quit the model so now you know how to obtain similar animations in ANSYS. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and we would like you to thank you for your attention. For more tutorials, please follow our community and follow us on the social network.